Good morning, sir. How are yeah. you? Yeah, it's fine. I'm uh, I'm Angelito Posadas, and uh, fortunately, I was a sailor before, wow. and I jumped to the ship. So I ran away when my ship uh, was here, coming from Europe. I ran away about year 1992, wow. and then I found my refugee for, for three years, and then now I'm lucky. I uh, I got my uh, citizenship wow. after uh, I think seven uh, seven years before wow. I get my citizenship. 然后我的妈妈在国内，我两个弟弟失业了，她也交不起养老费。我说我不能完了，我我这个去工作。然后我就到那个叫后边那个地，有个地方招工吧，推拿。我想的就是中国式的那种推拿。Don't lose your hope, but if you have your goal, don't lose your hope, and you can reach this goal. Go back to China where you came from. Filipino little bitch. Get the fuck out Anti-Asian racism is nothing new in Canada, but the report's publisher says it's getting worse. Three suspects ambushed the 67-year-old man. Asian father who was pushing his one-year-old child. And then one struck the other woman with a hammer. The 31-year-old victim was hospitalized. Went on to assault two more victims. See? Oh, leave him alone! Fuck off! Call the police! Fuck off! Fuck off! Leave him alone! Please. Fucking leave him alone! Call the leave him alone! Police! From you know Vietnamese temples being vandalized, Koreans are being stabbed here, our Chinatown gates uh, being totally defaced. Um, you know what's happening in North America, what's happening in the states is, is also happening here in Quebec. So we went outside and that's when we saw that the word COVID was tagged on our car, on the back and on the side of our car. So when I saw that, I felt really scared. So I ran back to the house to tell my sister and um, that's when I saw that the front of our house was also tagged. So at this point we were scared. The island of Montreal population of 2 million, Southeast and East Asian descent, 6%. While there are ostensible perceptions that diversity in Canada have somehow softened the exclusion and violence towards Asian community, we've decided to reach out to local people of Montreal. The following stories are only needles in a haystack. There are two times that there was someone who took my hand on the metro and who wanted me to launch on the rails. I got my cards and my cards, I have like my own identity. Euh, puis j'ai commencé à parler genre en français. Puis ils voyaient que j'avais vraiment un français genre soigné. Puis je répétais, j'étais genre, tu sais, ben là je suis, je suis adaptée, je suis nanana. Puis genre c'est la seule raison pourquoi la personne m'a, tu sais, genre lâché en, en quelque sorte. Okay, like I said, it's only around 6:20 in the morning, so there's nobody on the street. Um, and then he says, you know, je vais claquer dans la gueule. And me, being a, a big mouth that I am, and never want to back down, I go, oh yeah, <laughs> you know? And oh yeah, he, he, yeah, he did. And uh, he, he went to punch me, he went to punch me in the face. Et en fait, là, ça a juste été un déferlement de haine. Ça a été, euh, m'approche pas, retourne dans ton pays de merde, sale chinoise. This one old man just decided to just yell at us and say, go back to your country. She kept saying, go back to China, go back to China. Like, into my face. Many times. Right. Alors que la seule phrase que je lui ai dit, c'est excusez-moi, monsieur, vous pouvez traverser. And one girl goes and gets hand sanitizer, and her boyfriend looks at me and goes, yeah, I don't want to get that Asian stuff. Covid, Covid, 
他们溯源到咱们在加拿大的亚裔身上。那么你有什么根据呢？你有，你有。你有什么凭据说是你被攻击的这个人是他带来这个病毒？你没有任何凭据，你在没有任何凭据的下去攻击一个弱者，这是太过分了。真的，这个人这种人应该得到法律的制裁。是，嗯，要保护这些弱者的权利。他没有带来病毒，对吧？我们生活在这里二十多年，我们没有出离开这块土地，凭什么？有这个不好的事情发生，就先责怪到我头上。我是个无辜者，我是个受害者，我需要补偿，我需要社会得到一种。Is there part of you that still fears walking outside at night, like you said, right? Yeah, very much, and and especially in the last month, it's gone up a lot since all of these attacks are happening. It's gone up a lot. My attack was, you know, over seven, eight months ago, but I kind of thought that was a solitary incident. But now I see that it's just happening more and more. Uh, so yes, I am afraid to the point where I don't wear my earphones in public anymore because I need to constantly be aware of who's behind me and who's next to me. Um, so yeah, I do tend to go out as less as possible. So do you think this is new, or is it a latent sentiment that was only buried? I don't think that it's changed. I think it was just something that was buried. Renfermé chez certaines personnes, mais ça a toujours existé. On ne va pas dire que ça a paru du jour au lendemain. Non, ça a toujours été là. Depuis que je suis petite, j'ai des remarques comme ça. Ça a juste explosé, c'est tout. Les gens, les gens le, le montrent plus, mais ça a toujours été là. You know, like. The Chinese have built the railroad in Canada. On parle pas genre de comment on a fait les les chemins de fer. Which literally built the economy of this country. They've been here for over 150 years. They work hard and they die. They die for Canada united. How many people died making that railway that nobody talks about? But then. They were like, oh, if you come, we'll bring your family. But then they were like, oh, depending on how many heads you have, we're going to tax you guys. While Chinese workers were needed as a labor force for the completion of the railway, their presence in the country was still deemed undesirable. They were forced to pay anywhere from $50 to $500 in attempt to resist the Chinese immigration. This is known as the Chinese Immigration Act. You know, when I was growing up, I went to I was went through the public school system in Toronto, and I never learned about these things. In more of the side of what First Nations had to go through, talk more about slavery, talk more about other cultures coming in to Canada and what they had to go through. The government has to, in the book, in the school book, have to write Asian people what they do for Canada. Now uh, people hit their generation, hit his son, his grandson. It's not fair. In 1907, the Asiatic Exclusion League was formed, a group solely created to express their hatred towards the people of Asian descent, native and immigrant. They held speeches of hate with thousands of people attending to them. Their fury inevitably led them to storm and destroy Japantown and Chinatown. Japanese and Chinese people had no choice but to defend themselves. At what point do we become Canadian? So why are you guys here today? Um, because people are not being nice to Asian now. We just want to, you know, fight back. <laughs> Like telling them that you can't mess with us, like uh -huh. we're strong enough. Because of the deaths mm -hmm. of the Asian women in Atlanta. To remember the six women who were killed in Atlanta. On the night of March 16th, eight people were shot and killed by the same murderer at three different spa locations in Atlanta. Six of them were women of Asian descent. They were hardworking mothers, grandmothers, and people would dream of opening a beauty salon back home. They had plans to make enough money to retire, and there were selfless, hardworking people who worked from Asia all the way to America for a better life. The massacre in Atlanta is the logical
sheer combination of centuries of racism, a centralization of Asian peoples as objects, as piece of burden, as unentitled to rights and protections deserved by all human beings, by the fetishization of Asian women. Asian women specifically are seen as like, you know, quiet, modest, like in cultural like reference, they're supposed to be, you know, submissive and all of that. You know, working also like serving alcohol to people generally removes a lot of their inhibitions and they feel a lot more free to talk. It's, it's virtually the daily, what are you? Not, you know, like, expl you, like explain to me what you are and why you're here in Canada. And I've noticed that like media does play a role in this because people I've dated also wanted me to be that submissive role. Fuck you. Fuck me. <laughs> See? I will enjoy very much serving under you. On voit comme des filles faciles, comme comme des moins que rien en fait. On est, je trouve, on est, on est vu comme de la merde en fait. Well, they really do see me as, you know, some kind of exotic creature that they want to try out. And uh, it's just that feeling of you're always an outsider, you're always going to be another. And the objectification of women in the sex industry as throwaways, the expendable of the expendables. We are here today in anger to denounce this lethal racism, this white supremacy, and the Quebec government's denial of systemic racism, and to say that this is the line in the sand for us. Why did this happen? Why is this happening? But here's a point. Have a look and see what you're doing because it is it was not racially motivated. He had a sex problem, which leads me to believe that perhaps he had mental health issues. Right? I don't know how this is solving problems. If you're a female sex worker or a sex migrant that comes from East Asia, um, that makes you way more vulnerable to, you know, gendered and racialized violence. Yeah. See whales, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the Uh, uh, if you want me to speak in Chinese, yes, that's Zhu er, chou hen, that means stop hatred, and Zhuan Zhong means uh, respect, Bao uh -huh. Rong uh, means tolerance. Uh, okay, so, okay, okay. Yeah, you so you have no yeah. At a restaurant, um, I went to take, take out to go home, and this Filipino guy, he, you know, he was, Filip he was Filipino, mm -hmm. he, he heard me speaking Tagalog and found out I was Filipino, and he said, you're Filipino? And I'm like, yes. Um, you don't look Filipino? And I'm like, okay. Um, but he said, he said, you don't look Filipino. You should be happy about that. And then I, I, that was a question. I was like, what? So I kind of reflected upon that and I was like, what? Like, what brought him to kind of have this self, this self kind of like, in a, in a sense, self hate? I was, I was born in a raised in Beijing, so he went to Beijing and he became an English teacher at the moment, and I met him, so um, we get along well, so I just, yeah, and I had, had somebody then, I, I just uh, went to Canada with him. I spoke the best English in my high school, so like, I'm, I'm regarded as somebody who has the, the, the kind of image that is better than them. Okay, okay. 
and then I just felt the need to really be better than them. It's all pure pressure. Oh my god, this is so bad. This feels so bad. I mean, genre ayant grandi dans un milieu euh, seulement blanc, en fait majoritaire, très très majoritairement blanc, que soit euh, euh, blanc et noir en fait, mais zéro asi comme de communauté asiatique, euh, avoir grandi avec ça, puis euh, j'avais tellement de stigma inculqué dans ma tête contre la communauté asiatique, contre ma propre communauté en fait, que à un certain point ça me dégoûtait. Genre je, comme, je regardais comme mon visage et, et j'arrivais pas non plus à me reconnaître. Dans les traits asiatiques, je suis allée en Corée du Sud, qui est euh, mon pays natal, on m'a dit que je n'étais pas coréen. Euh, C'était difficile de se, pla de, de se placer dans le spectre genre identitaire. I like white culture better in, I mean, back in my high school. Um, she years. thought she, she, the version of white culture, not the. Yeah, because I we were influenced. We had this right? image of Western culture. Due to media influence. What kind of advice would you give to people who just came to Canada and experiencing racism firsthand? I want my child to know our next generation we should be proud of about who we are no matter the race no matter the skin color who you are and you just be proud of yourself my child she asked me if I can change her name into more American or North American way instead of our own Asian names. I told her you should be proud. Um, it's really easy, I think, to fall prey to internalized racism. It's something that I used for, as a scapegoat for a really long time. It took me a really long time to accept my Asian-ness. So um, what I would say to these people is to strongly hold on to their culture. <laughs> C'est la notion de l'amour. On n'a pas besoin de savoir qu'est-ce qui se passe. Vous nous appelez et on répond présent. We're going to be Chinese, we're Japanese, Korean, black, Indian, whoever we are, we are all human beings, right? We all have the right to hold a space and breathe the same air. Do not, never, ever afraid to step up and speak up. It's not just because of Chinese people, it's because of everyone, and we need to be a community to fight it back. The world is really strange. It's really strange. The world is really strange.